Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. Now you must be familiar with the term first angle and third angle of projection. And I'm sure you must have seen this symbol of first and third angle of projection in title blocks of the drawing. So if you want to know why these projection systems are called well first and third angle and what they actually represent, then this video is for you. But before we start, here is a Dimensioning Best Practices PDF ebook that contains more than 50 best practices related to mechanical and architectural drawings that you should follow to make your drawing look professional. Now download this free ebook using link in the description. With that, let's get started. Usually, the first angle projection system is used in countries like India and other Asian countries and third angle projection system is quite dominant in United States. So, here we'll understand what these projection systems are and how are these systems used in our drawing. Now, here I will use this example. So, we have a simple part here and the same part is added in this quadrant as well. So, basically this entire space is now divided into four quadrants. The first quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth and it is divided using this right plane and top plane. Alright, now we will use three direction of view. The first direction of view we can use from top, that's where we are looking at this drawing. Then we have another direction of view, that's from the right side. And the third one is from this side, that's from your current direction towards the screen. So that's the third direction. Okay, so these are the three view directions. Now eventually we'll end up making our drawing on a single sheet of paper. So right now as you can see this is 3D drawing and we don't make manufacturing drawing on 3D well planes. So we will end up with this drawing on single sheet of paper and that sheet of paper can be this top plane. So eventually all the views should end up on this top plane. Now if your drawing is placed in this first quadrant then it will be called first angle of projection. If it is in third quadrant it will be called the third angle of projection. So what is the difference? Well in this case as you can see if this is the viewing direction this one and this one then this object is in between the viewing direction and the plane. Similarly if the viewing direction is this then again it is the object is in between the viewing direction and the plane. Now, if you project the outlines of this drawing on our current planes, the right plane and top plane in this first quadrant, then the result will be like this. Because if you look at this drawing from your first viewing direction, which happens to be this one, then your drawing will look like this. So here it is, all the boundaries and the circle. So that's how it's going to project here. Now, if you look at it from this direction, well, this is the projection that you're going to get. All right. And that's the idea. Consider a situation where you're basically holding a torch, you light it and the torch will create a shadow that looks like this on this plane. Similarly, if the torch is here, then that's going to create a shadow like this and you'll end up with a view right here. Now, this view is the view of this side. That's the right side view and the right side view is created on the left side. This view is the view of this top face and this top face is created on the bottom plane. So if I fold this plane, this right plane in anti-clockwise direction, just like that, basically I will end up with a straight sheet on this top plane where this right side view will be on the left, the top view will be on the bottom and that's the first angle of projection. So basically in first angle of projection, top will be on bottom, left will be on right and so on. Now let's talk about the third angle of projection. So here we have the third angle of projection and once again the viewing direction is exactly the same. So we are looking at this drawing from this direction and this direction and of course we have a direction from well this side as well. So in this case the front view will remain as it is. So front view will remain right here and here also if you look at it from this direction the front view will remain exactly the same. So front view will be at the front and center in both the situations. Now let's talk about the top plane. So if we look at this drawing from this direction, from the stop direction, then the projection of this plane should fall on this one because we have the plane right before the object and the projection should end up on a plane. So if we look at it from here, 
then this projection will go on this plane and if once again if I just orbit this drawing you will see that well this is how the plane is going to project our drawing so the projection of this top plane will be on this top plane now the second viewing direction was this one and here also if you now look at this drawing in third angle projection from this direction once again the projection is going to look like this well that's the projection all right so now that we know how these two are projected let's once again fold it in anti-clockwise direction so what we are going to do this top plane is the plane that should remain static and now this one should be folded in anti-clockwise direction so this is going to move here now what is happening the top plane will remain at the top the right plane will move to the right side because of this anti-clockwise direction so the right side view will be on the right side of the paper the top view will be on the top and the left view will be on the left side and so on so in third angle of projection the top will go on the top left will go on left right will go on right side because of this projection rule and that's how the first and third angle of projection is decided now why we don't use the second and fourth angle of projection well once again if you consider that anti-clockwise rule and if you have an object right here then what will happen well we are making everything on this top plane consider an object right here now if you move it in anti-clockwise direction what will happen you will end up folding this plane right on top of this so basically two views are going to overlap this top and the right plane they are just going to merge definitely not a good view the same thing will happen for this one so if you just place object here you'll end up with this plane merging right here so once again two views they're gonna merge and of course this is not a view which is practical so that's why we use first and third angle of projection now how about the symbols that we use for it and what's its meaning to understand it I'll use this drawing now in this drawing the symbol on left side is for first angle of projection and the symbol on right side is for third angle of projection of course these lines are not shown and I've added these line only for representation purposes in real world situation you'll only see these two circles and this tapered cylinder and of course the center line now what is happening in this case in this case it is once again using the same rule of first and third angle of projection using this tapered cylinder as an example now once again here is the 3d view of this tapered cylinder now if you look at this cylinder from this view what do you see well two circles and in this case both the circles are clearly visible so these two circles are visible when we place it on the right side but if we move on the left side we just have one single circle the second circle will simply hide so on this side well only one single circle will be visible so now that we know that there is only one view where both of these circles are visible and that's this one so if you place the circle on the right side where the smaller side is where we have the concentric circles that's where it is actually visible if however you place this concentric circle on the larger diameter side of this tapered cylinder well the second circle won't be visible now in which of the projections this is the case well you now know that both the circles should be visible from right side and if the right side view is on the right side then that's the third angle of projection so it is happening only here both the circles are visible in the situation where this concentric circle set is on the right side and that's the third angle of projection so right view is on the right side but here in this case this concentric set is on the left side basically this is the view of this side but it's on the opposite one so that's the first angle of projection because in first angle the view is on the opposite direction so in a nutshell this concentric circle is what actually decides the first or third angle of projection and this tapered cylinder is just for reference so this tapered cylinder is your reference feature and if the concentric circle is on the side where both the circles are visible then that's third angle if it's on the opposite side then that's first angle of projection and that's how this projection symbol diagram is decided so that was all about the first and third angle of projection if you haven't yet downloaded the dimensioning best practices ebook then once again check its link in the description and let me know in the comment section which of the listed best practices you found most useful take care and i'll see you soon in another video